Hi, everyone. My name is Andrea Baichi, and I'm a new assistant professor in the Robotics Institute. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of my work on um, how we can have safe human robot interaction actually in the wild. So in my lab, we develop robot algorithms that interact with people. This includes autonomous cars driving around human driven cars to quadrotors flying nearby pedestrians, assistive robots helping you out in the home, or robotic dogs that play a game of tag with you on your lawn. Now, whether we're talking about robot navigation or human-robot collaboration, the ability to anticipate what people will do is critical for successful interaction. For example, consider a quadrotor which is flying nearby this person. However, the quadrotor isn't sure where she's going, and so it's not sure how to move towards the school without colliding into her. In scenarios like these, the robot can use a learned human model to predict where she could possibly move by observing her behavior. Seeing the human take a step forward allows the robot to infer that she's going straight to the door, after which the robot plans a path to avoid her and make its way across the room. Unfortunately, there is a fundamental and persistent challenge with human interaction, and that's that human behavior is vastly complex varying between individuals, environments, and over time. This means that when robots are deployed, they're going to encounter human behaviors that are totally unexpected and never seen beforehand. For example, consider an autonomous car that might encounter this pedestrian who runs in and then out of the street. Or maybe this pedestrian who's playing soccer on the side of the road. Or this pedestrian who decides to intentionally block oncoming traffic for a reason that even I as a human have a hard time understanding. We can really study this challenge and its implications on autonomy when we go back to the lab. Here, we spilled some coffee in this human's path, causing them want to want to deviate and avoid getting their feet wet with this coffee spill. However, the robot's learned model of human behavior never saw this kind of behavior before, and the robot mistakenly predicts that the human's going to continue going straight through this spill. By blindly trusting the data-driven human model, robots can confidently plan unsafe behaviors, resulting in this head-on collision. So there's this tension that we have a lot in human-robot interaction, where robots need to learn about people in order to effectively interact with them, but these robots also need to be safe. Our goal is to develop robots that can interact safely and intelligently with humans, despite these imperfect human models. To model this complex interplay between humans, robots, and their learning algorithms, we take a dynamical systems approach to interaction. Our research develops theoretical frameworks and practical algorithms, drawing upon methods from optimal control, dynamic game theory, Bayesian inference, and deep learning. I like to break down the space of research challenges into three principal axes. First, there's this whole spectrum of robot interaction, from collision avoidance all the way up to physical interaction with a human. Secondly, in all these contexts, robots are learning. This learning can happen via complex function approximators, such as neural networks, or lower dimensional learning models, like you see here on the bottom picture. Finally, there's this question of how to perform safety assessment. And this can happen at two extremes. Offline, wherein the human model and robot decision-making is stress-tested, to online, where the robot continuously monitors its interaction with the human. Although so far we focused on safety for low dimensional models used for robot collision avoidance, there's a large space of research questions I'm excited about investigating, which expand along the dimensions of closer proximity interaction and learning complexity. If you're excited about any of these research questions, please reach out to us. Thank you so much.